Hey guys, my name is Hannah and I would say let's have some fun today. So I'm feeling a little bit unwell today, I won't lie to you. I had a cold and the whole day it was fine actually and in the middle of the day I started to get a really strong headache. I laid down for a little bit, now I'm a little bit better. <laughs> I don't know, I thought I'm over it, <laughs> but it seems like I'm not actually. So I think it will come and go in waves. I think you say it like that in English, if I'm not, not wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, but it comes and goes in the moment, but now I'm feeling better and I, I think you can hear it in my voice that I'm a little bit, <clears throat> that I don't have the best immune system right now. So we will work on that. <laughs> Oh, by the way, guys, I don't know if the look is up now or it will be up on another day, but I filmed this look, so I won't put the things I'm wearing right now in the description box down below because I filmed a video doing this look. So that's that. Just that you know, if you are curious what I'm wearing right now, it will be in another video. If I already loaded it up, which I think I won't. <laughs> I will leave the infos here, but I think the video will come next week or something like that. So, but today I really want to talk with you about some new stuff. Didn't do that in a long time, but I will switch it up today a little bit because I don't want to go over all the things that came out lately. I just want to go over the things I'm a little bit curious about as well. So let's do that. The first thing, how could it be different, <laughs> is the Colourpop X Sailor Moon Collection 2.0. Yes, they're doing a round two. I'm very happy about that. I'm very pleased about that. I saw the collection, of course, on Trend Mood. There are many people that are like, not again, it's not that good, blah, 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 blah. But honestly, in my opinion, I think for a Colourpop collection this is very very cool. I really love the colors in here. I love that they are not that typical neutral shades. I love that they are in the neutral direction but with a switch almost you can say. And it's really fun. I really really like it. I thought about in for a sec to be honest. I thought about to buy me the whole collection. But then I took a deep breath in, I thought about all the other stuff I want to get in the next couple of months, let's say, and um, makeup related stuff, of course. <laughs> and then I thought, okay, what is the thing I really want the most? Maybe two, three things I will take out of here that I really want the most and buy for myself. And you know what, in the end, oh, Let's go a little bit to the side when I'm showing you all the stuff that I'm talking about. How dumb of me. I'm getting a cold and I'm forgetting everything. So now I hope you can see everything a little bit better and me as well. Hmm? Yeah, <laughs> I'm so sorry guys. I'm not there yet. I'm really not there yet. But back to the collection. I sorted it a little bit out and in the end, you know what guys, I really thought to myself, I just want the eyeshadow palette. I looked at the Trend Mood website, they, they swatched everything really beautifully and they showed everything real, in a really nice way, I think, and in the end I decided to just get the eyeshadow palette. I thought, to be honest, there are two highlighters, a really light one and a more pinkish kind of highlighter. And I thought the pinkish kind of highlighter is actually a blush, but it's a highlighter. So after I had that information, I thought mm, maybe I can use it as a topper. It would be really nice, but do I really would use that? I don't think so. And the normal highlighter, I was on the fence anyways, because I have so many beautiful highlighters in the moment in my collection. So yeah. I ended up just with the palette. I think the color story is really beautiful. It's fitting for Colourpop, but it's also something a little bit different than they normally do. And yeah, it's nothing groundbreaking. I won't 
say that it is but for Colourpop I think it's a really really nice collection it's a really beautiful collection I'm a Sailor Moon fan what can I say I have a Sailor Moon I have more than just one Sailor Moon figure in my in my room I love Sailor Moon so much so I think they had get me alone with that collection so <laughs> that's that I'm a little bit biased you could say but I also want to look critically at the colors individually and what they are and for me I think yeah they could have been more wow pow wham bam in your face like maybe Pat McGrath but in actual reality this is Colourpop and I think for Colourpop it's a nice collection so I bought me the eyeshadow palette can expect a look with it I hope soon but you know I'm not from America I'm from Germany so I have to wait a little bit longer for everything so I will wait on that and hopefully it will came when the palette is actually in stock but if not I'm so sorry but I'm so prone that they will bring it back even though it's out of stock but I will film a video anyways with it because you know what I really want to I think it's a beautiful palette and I really feel the palette right now so yeah the palette video will come with the Colourpop X Sailor Moon collection for sure okay another thing I was so like oh my god I need it right away and then I took a step back it's the Melt X Nightmare Before Christmas collection and it's actually about Halloween Town I think. Uh, the palette is more Oogie Boogie themed it seems like and the highlighter is more Sally and Jack themed and so on so on. So I think the collection overall is really beautiful. The palette is really nice but there is something that's missing for me. I can't tell you exactly what it is but there's something that's a little bit like yeah they could have do something else but on the other hand I like it I think if you are dividing it in three halves you have the lilac key rosy tones the four ones you have the bluish greenish kind of tones and you have the yellow and more warm coppery kind of shade so if you are dividing it in that way yeah and I can also see the Oogie Boogie theme that it's in there because when he's open his mouth you know there are so many things that are coming out of it so um, I really like Nightmare Before Christmas by the way I really love Tim Burton movies anyways so I'm a little bit more familiar with that and I'm a big fan um, yeah I can see a little bit the Oogie Boogie theme in here but on the other hand I think a little bit more greens, a little bit more black and white theming would also have been nice. I don't know, there's something that's missing. I'm a little bit thorn on the palette itself to be honest. I will think about it if I will buy it or not because it's a high price tag. For that reason I will think a little bit about it if I buy it or not. But if I will buy it you will definitely see a video. On the other hand I also really really like the lipsticks. They are so beautiful. The lighter one, the little bit more brownish, warmish, coppery type of lipstick. I'm so into it. I think it's a beautiful color choice. Also their eye things, I don't know how they are called. Their eye gels or something like that. You know what I mean, the pots. I really love that. I think the color choices there are beautiful, so stunning. I'm also thinking about to get one of those and the highlighter is not, I know I see it's too dark for me already I see it it's not working but as in topper or something like that I can see it it would be really nice so I'm thinking about the collection maybe I will get some things maybe I will get everything maybe I will get nothing I will think about it there is something intriguing for sure and I love Melt, like I said, I'm a really big Melt fan. I know there are some people that are falling out of love with Melt, but, I'd, but I really like them, I have to say. And maybe I will give this one a shot, I will think about it, for sure. Okay, we are getting strong, next one. This is something I really wanted to mention because I think it's a nice collection overall and it's from Unearthly Cosmetics. It's a new palette, it seems like a highlighter and something like a highlighter topper or it's a blush, I'm not sure, and some lip stuffs. 
I won't get this collection. I don't, I don't, because I have so many other things I already committed to that I want to buy. So I won't get this, but I wanted to talk about it because I think it's beautiful. It's really fall themed. I really like it overall. And I just wanted to talk about it just for a little bit to say that I really want to try unearthly, unearthly cosmetics um, in the long run. Someday I will get something from unearthly not right now, but I really want to test this brand. I think it's a really nice brand, it's a really cute brand and I really think... Yeah, I really want to try them out. I think the shimmers are looking always so juicy when I, th when I see videos of other creators that are using them and I really want to try them for sure one day. So that's because I'm showing you in a, at least for a sec this collection right here. If you aren't familiar with that, but if you are an Unearthly Cosmetics fan, you already know that this is coming out. I won't get it, but I will get someday something from them, for sure. The next thing I'm really thinking about to get, um, I'm not sure yet, I have to see when this will come out here, because we have here a online shop that is um, selling Glam Light stuff, so if it will come fast enough, Germany I will buy it if not I will think about it <laughs> if I really want this and it's Glam Light X Ghost Face and they bringing out a palette a mirror and some lip things it seems like a red kind of stain type of lipstick and yeah really like the collection overall I didn't bought the Chucky palette. Today actually I had the chance to buy it here and it was sold out in minutes. Okay, it was actually, actually it was in one day, it was sold out, <laughs> but I needed a little bit longer to think about it because I wasn't sure if I really wanted it, if this is my color story. I really like in the moment to play around again with colors. I think it's because of the weather that it's getting a little bit colder and you know then I have more the feeling that I want to play around with colors especially with darker tones so yeah it's right up my alley i think this is my up right up my alley because it has also this bluish kind of undertones and maybe i will buy it for myself because i like it overall it's a little bit more monochromatic i don't know how much variety i'm getting with this palette right here but maybe this will be my first time trying glam light I watched Ghostface, I also I also watched Chucky, it's a long time ago, I won't lie, so I'm not remembering every detail of the films individually, but I watched it and I, I think I liked them enough. I watched them when I was a teenager, I think, so it's a long time ago. Maybe this Halloween I will rewatch them because I'm, I like to watch horror movies, I'm not that... I don't need to watch them every every night. I'm more like, yeah, let's watch something cozy for the fall time. More like uh, something like Over the Garden Wall or something like that. I love Over the Garden Wall. If one day, I don't care, if one day someone is bringing out an Over the Garden Wall theming palette, I will buy that because I love Over the Garden Wall to the moon and back. And I would buy that in a heartbeat or something like Gravity Falls or something like that. You know, I'm I'm a big fan of those shows. I think they are so amazing. And if one day a palette will came out with exactly that theme, you can bet on it. I will I will do a video with that palette. But yeah, this time it's Ghostface. I'm not against it. I'm not the biggest fan but I like the color story overall and maybe I will get it but I don't think I would necessarily get the mirror or the lip kit but I can see that people that are really in love with that film that there are excited about that I can understand that so I will see if I will get it or not but I really think it's a fitting color scheme overall for that movie in general so I really like it. Okay, the next thing is a really, really cool collection in my opinion. 
and it's with Angelica Nyquist. I hope I spelled her correctly. I watch, I'm watching all her YouTube videos, you know, I really like her. I really like her energy, I really like how she's presenting makeup, I really like her makeup style. I think she's stunning and I really love that she did a collaboration again with Odin's Eye and she brought out actually two palettes, two beautiful palettes that are really individually so stunning and beautiful and they are standing on their own so beautifully. I think they are looking so stunning and also she brought out some lip stuff and there are a more lip stain kind of lipstick kind of thing and there are also lip glosses that are a little bit more opaque and also there's a sheer one. I really thought to buy me also something in the lipstick line, maybe the orangey one or something like that. I really love that as well in the moment because it's a time for it and it's pre presenting Angelica so nicely I think. She always loves to wear orange lipstick so it was perfect. But I don't know why I didn't. It was really dumb of me. Now that I'm thinking about it, I really should have bought me also something for the lips of the line, but I didn't. That's that. And of the two palettes, I bought me one palette, so I will do a video on that one. And <laughs> if you are knowing me a little bit, you know which palette I got. Of course, I got the blue lilac -y one. And I really love about that blue lilac -y palette that you not just have blues and lilac shades, you also get a beautiful yellow that it's coming from nowhere, you know. I really like the yellow in there. And I also love that you have down a really beautiful warm kind of row with browns and orangey and red kind of shades. I really like that. I really like the color combo overall. I think it's a little bit another take on Halloween and fall time and I really love the theme overall But after I watched some videos I thought man Why didn't I bought also the reddish greenish palette because I thought the shimmers looked so nice and so stunning But I didn't because like I said, I have so many other palettes I'm thinking about buying and everything like that so it will wait Maybe if it's there when I have the money the energy the time to buy it as well. I will buy it definitely because I think it's beautiful. But for now it will be the bluish lilac -y one that I will buy that I bought and it's the little ghost palette. I'm so sorry I don't say the names or something like that. The one that I bought is the little ghost palette and that the, the other one that I didn't bought is the trick or treat palette. That's the name. My brain today. It's not there. Um, yeah, and the trick or treat palette I didn't bought. I'm a little bit sad about that But I think I will have my fun with the little ghost palette as well But I really said to myself the next time Odin's eye will bring out a collection maybe for Christmas again and they will bring out again two palettes That are more blue toned and a palette that it's more green and red toned this time I will go for the green and red tones because I'm always going for the blues and lilac shades and I think I'm now familiar with those kind of shades from Owen's Eye already and I really want to play a little bit with the other tones as well because I, I like reds and I like greens so why not next time I'm really pinching myself and say but if the blue palette is looking so stunning beyond stunning and I can't go past that and I just want to buy one palette I will buy it so don't take my word for it but I really will think a little bit more about to buy next time maybe for the Christmas collection or something like that if they're doing something like that again maybe I will go the next time for the red themed palette because I think it's the smarter thing to do you know we, we, we will be smart here on the channel and I really want to play with some other colors from them as well so maybe next time but this time you will see me again with the blue lilac -y palette in my hands but I'm so excited about that and I can't wait when it's in the mail you will see me doing multiple looks on this channel right here so very excited about that next one oh my gosh guys oh this is so beautiful i love it i don't know if i can spell them correctly they are called ensley range cosmetics 
don't quote me on that. <laughs> I'm so bad with names sometimes and with English name, names especially. I'm sorry. But this palette right here, guys, this is so beautiful. How is it called? I think something like Harvest... Harvest La 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 palette? Let me see. Let, oh, no, no. Let me check. Yeah, it's the Harvest Moon palette. It's the Harvest Moon palette from Ensley Rain Cosmetics. I love it. I know it will be so pricey, but I found actually a shop from Europe that are selling indie makeup. And when this palette will come, they, they said on their website, they are, calling, they are called Monolith. And this is a website I found for myself. So if you are in Europe and you really don't want to pay those high prices, those, those high taxes when the palettes are arriving, but you want to play with in, more indie makeup, this is a site I really can recommend. I didn't bought from them yet, so, you know, don't take my word for it, but I, I read a little bit about them and I think they are really legit, I think they are really good, and I will buy me this palette from them. On their website, they are saying in four to five weeks, this palette will be on their website. And I will be in four to five weeks on their website and I will buy me this palette. And I will do a video on it, you can bet on it. I think, I'm saying it now and then I don't buy this palette. So <laughs> if I really, if I'm changing my mind and I won't buy this palette because of some circumstances or something like that, I will tell you that I didn't bought this palette on a video or something like that. But I want this palette so bad, so I'm really thinking about to buy me this palette because I think it's so beautiful, it's so stunning and I really, this is the first time in a long time that I think I need this palette in my life. Really guys, it's so fall like, I love the artwork on this palette, this artwork is so me, it's so beautiful, it's so... I want to have this in my in my collection, you know? And I also think that those colors, especially those shimmer shades, I love shimmers. And this palette has more shimmers than mattes. That's a plus in itself for me. But the shimmers, I think they are also so unique in some way. And I don't think I have those shimmers in my collection. Because I don't have that many indie palettes in my collection at the end of the day. And I really want to try some more indie palettes. But I really want to try a palette I'm so excited about and that I really want to dive into. So I waited for the perfect palette. And to be honest, guys, I think this is it. I know it will be pricey, but, but if I can get it on this website, I hope I'm not too late. If I'm too late, I, I won't buy it. I won't buy it from America. But if I can buy this palette from the EU website, from the Europe website that I found, it will come to me. It will come to me. I want to do a video with it and I'm so excited about that. I think it's looking stunning. It's looking so fall-like. And it's, this palette, it's, make me, it's making me really excited, so this is saying something. I really want this one and yeah, really excited about that. I hope I can get my hands on it. I'm feeling some ways with this palette, I'm telling you. Okay, there's not much more left. The next thing I need to talk about, of course, is Pat McGrath and it's a new collection. Her Bijou Brilliance collection. I think it's called <laughs> and she's bringing out two bigger palettes but this time it won't be the typical I think it's 18 pan this time it will be a 9 pan with two blushes on the side and the blushes are one is new and one is old in each individual individual palette so those are the big palettes let's talk about maybe for a second about them um, I really wanted the palette with the green shimmers in it, but I, I'm thinking right now a little bit smarter about my choices that I'm making. And I really want to wait on both palettes on a good deal, on a sale, and then maybe I will buy them. But I'm not really in the rush to buy them. Because this green, I really thought, oh my god, this green is looking so nice. But you know what? Let me show it to you. This really, really light green. Don't it look like it's this one? 
like this one and maybe the dark green let me show you something else i almost dropped my palette <laughs> Whew, we are heated today we are really heated and it's not just me the whole energy in the room i'm telling you the darker green in here i have a darker green from pat mcgrath already i have a dark green and i have this really beautiful light so metallic like green from her so i'm pretty much having those shades and that's because i made the decision to not buy me those big christmas palettes but i think overall to be honest i think they're looking beautiful i really like them there are some people that are not liking them, them that much i also talked to you a little bit in my community tab about them some of you answered i'm so grateful thank you so much i really love to chat about it and i was sick like i said so i couldn't film something and i really want to talk to you about it anyways so i think the community chat is really something i want to explore more and yeah i really really like them but i won't get them so yeah that's that <laughs> and then we have a face palette we have three face palette actually we have three face palettes actually and in each of them is one highlighter, one blush and one bronzer. And they are getting from really light to dark. So they are cute, but nothing that I need. But they are cute. So if you like something like that, I can imagine for traveling or something like that. They are coming handy. So, but I, I won't get them. I don't see the need for me right now to have those palettes in my life. And then there are her more condensed kind of palettes that are five pants, so quince. And she brought, this time, she really brought out one, two, three, four of them. And they're all looking really, really amazing. And here actually I bought me one. Again, you, I think you know which one I bought. I bought the one with the blues in it and I really love it. I think the burgundy, the only match it is a really beautiful burgundy. First of all, I think this is a stunning, stunning Christmas, winter type of palette. It's so, conde it's so condensed and small, but I have the feeling you can do something really beautiful with it. The other ones I think are also really, really beautiful, but they're a little bit too neutral for me. And the last one with the lilac -y black shimmery shade in it, there are just shimmers and they are not fun enough for me to say that I want this one really badly. So yeah, my choice is the one with the blues in it. I bought it and with this one I will make a video. I thought maybe something like an... Um, full face of Pat McGrath because I can now do a full face of Pat McGrath actually I have everything from her to do that and maybe I will include this palette with a full face with Pat McGrath and yeah I'm excited about that really wanted to get the mascaras as well or one of them at least but in the end I decided not to because I have two colorful mascaras already I'm not using them that often, but when I'm using them, I really like them. So I will maybe wait again on a good deal. I think they won't sell out that fast because people aren't in need of funky, fun mascaras. I think there are not many at least. So I will wait on a good deal for them and then maybe I will buy me one or two. So yeah, in the end, I just bought one little quad, one little quint, I'm sorry, from Pat proud of myself i have to say because i really love pat but this time i really didn't feel the need to get the most of it you know i think it's beautiful overall i love the execution but i just bought me the palette with the blue tones and i'm really excited about that and you will of course see again a video on it last but not least i didn't include it in my screenshots i did but I also want to talk to you about the Hourglass face palettes. I really like them, I have to say, guys. I think they are beautiful. I love the outer packaging. I love the inside. For someone like me that never had something from Hourglass, I really, really want to try them. I really, I'm really intrigued by this one with the jellyfish on it. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 
but I'm really intrigued by this one. I really like it and I really want to try this one, but I don't know if I will buy it. So if not this year, maybe next year, if not next year, maybe the year after that. Someday I will buy me one of those beautiful face palettes because I think they are looking so stunning and the face is always looking so seamless from the people that are using them so glowy and I really love to play with a glowy face right now a little bit more again I really love the glowy face type of look in the moment again and yeah that's because I'm intrigued by them I think every palette is looking beautiful every face palette so I wouldn't be mad about to have one of them <laughs> I also would consider to get the darkest one if it's on a good deal because I can make it work I don't can make it work as it's supposed to, as it's supposed to be used maybe, but I can make it work for me that it's somehow, you know, looking good, for me at least, in some way. <laughs> so yeah, really wanted to talk about those ones as well. Like I said, maybe won't get anything, but I really appreciate them. Someone like me, I can, I can see if you have already some of them, you don't, can't see them anymore, but I really want to try it one day. I really wanted to appreciate them with you together. Yeah guys, now I'm back in the middle. <laughs> and I wanted to say thank you for watching. I hope we will see each other in the next video. I hope you liked it. Really didn't do that in a long time, so I really felt the need to do it again. And it was so much fun to talk about makeup with you together. <sighs> need to do that more often, really. It's so much fun, I really love it. And we will see each other in my next video, I would say. And until then, bye guys.